个非死不能改。Confident and ready for action, the Bulls as they headed to the locker room earlier on. The hometown crowd certain to give them a warm welcome. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. So glad you could join us on this Saturday night with Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and we're pleased to have on this. We have just about a half season behind us. The rankings are clearer than ever, Greg. You feel confident starting to make some playoff predictions. Oh, Kevin, it's way too early for that. It, injuries, other roster shakeups. There's just still so much that could happen and, and totally reshape those rankings. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. Adonovich and Vanderbilt are the forward. Finally out there with Colin Sexton. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Yeah, quick foul to pick up right away here in the first quarter. Bulls on D. It's a three-point game. Jazz passing it around. Back to Vanderbilt. Outside Bogdanovich. Five on the clock. Over Williams. Offensive rebound. Vanderbilt off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And this is something this guy takes pride in, capitalizing on second-chance opportunities. Out to DeRozan. First quarter of play, one minute played. And it's Vucevic missing. Bogdanovich, the first thing that comes to mind is the ability to catch and shoot. But he's a guy that can also create off the bounce. To me, he's one of the most underrated players in the game today. Boyan has the handle to create separation for a quality shot. He's tremendous on the backboards. He plays really solid defense. He works hard every single night, super competitive. Just a guy you want on your side. Vucevic is screen on Sexton. The kick out to Ball. Back to Vucevic. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Well, such a polished scorer. Vucevic doesn't mind absorbing hits. He will power through it. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Vucevic defending. Pass to Sexton. Yep, it counts. Well, Sexton showing that he's more than just a jump shooter. Very comfortable on the interior against size. Now, ball. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Levine with it. Finally picks him up. Now, here's Sexton. And here is Conley. We saw him with 10 points last game. And Sexton slams it in. Colin Sexton, early in his career, has demonstrated great instincts in the pick and roll. Good decision making. For Chicago, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Bean passes to Williams. Yes, that goes in. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Well, a bit reckless right there. That's his second foul, and he can't afford to pick up a third. Trumpets checked in for Vucevic. Markinen, he's checked in for Utah. And stolen by Williams. And Drummond kicks to Williams. Stolen by Markinen. Conley with it, now guarded by Ball. Let's it go with a three. Conley's shot is off. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. DeRozan in the corner. Here's Drummond in the game against Philadelphia. Very impressive. Ball finds Levine. Fires the three. Drummond passes to Levine. Now here's Williams on the wing to Rosen. No good on the triple. Conley feeling it out. 
Andre Drummond grabs the miss for Chicago. They've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. And you know there aren't many teams with a more dedicated fan base than Utah. The Jazz fans are behind their team no matter what. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. And the first time on the game called for Utah. Some changes for Chicago. Green is checked in for Williams. Dosumu comes in for Zach Levine. And it's Alex Caruso in for Lonzo Ball. Utah also making some changes. Horton Tucker's checked in for Bogdanovich. Clarkson comes in for Sexton. And it's Malik Beasley in for Mike Conley. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Nailed from three-point land. It's always striking, Greg, to see the bond between the Jazz team and their followers. Well, when you're the only game in town, people take the team to heart. And we see it in cities like Portland and San Antonio as well. The fans form that attachment to their team. Passes it to Markinen. 34 seconds left in the first quarter. Off target on the 15-footer. Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And hey, we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot. Just didn't fall there. Out to the wing. Beasley against Caruso. Dishes it to Drummond. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Yeah, that's such a rare use these days, but Andre Drummond is a true five. The guy wants to work on the interior. Arginen kicks to Beasley. Hands the 12 footer. <laughs> I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. Here's Drummond. It's all tied in Chicago. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. 11. The Jazz 11. Chicago's performance here guys uh, what have they been doing or not doing well the offense is clicking and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on boy it's been a really pretty thing to watch executing their game plan to perfection they've got Vucevic Levine is out there with Green then there's Dosumu and it's Ball in a point guard that's the Bulls five as we get into the second quarter Vucevic finds Green Vucevic setting the pick for Green Back to Vucevic, over Bogdanovic, and it's Vucevic, that time on the assist by Green. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the bank. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Vanderbilt's gone two or three from the floor. Takes the three. Beasley with the rebound. And it's Utah's ball. And the three-pointer GA has become a focal point of Malik Beasley's game. Uh, yeah, up until last season, only about half of his attempts were from beyond the arc. Now, he's really zeroing in on the long ball as his primary weapon. Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. He feeds it to Vucevic. Stripped it away. Bogdanovich with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Levine kicks to Green. Ball, the pass to Levine. Ball feeling it out a bit. Six on the shot clock. Here's Vucevic. And again, Chicago, no good. Jazz leading by five. Here's Horton Tucker. Basket, good. And there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Levine with it, outguarded by Bogdanovich. 
Shots good by Green. Well, we see a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays, but you'll take that look right there any night of the week. Time called here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. I've heard it said, Greg, a coach can't give you confidence, but they can take it away. What's the meaning behind that? Well, players at this level are naturally confident, but when coaches are always critical, it can take you out of your game. Makes you just start to think a little too much on the floor. Williams, he's checked in for Chicago. Then for the Jazz, Howie Marketing comes in for Vanderbilt. And it's Mike Conley in for Taylor Horton Tucker. That is the size and power coming into play right there. Vucevic excels at using his physical advantages to capitalize. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Conley dishes to Clarkson. Larkin in a screen on Levine. Clarkson passes to Markin, and Markin throws it down. Really good execution by Jordan Clarkson. As a coach, you're always looking to maximize your team's consistency. That's good offense. Outside, Levine. Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. Down low, and slam dunk by Vucevic. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> Well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. 153 left now here in the second. Williams with the ball. Conley picks him up. Ball kicks to Vucevic. Bulls moving the ball around. Goes Sunu, the pass to Levine. the pass to Williams and that comes off the assist by Levine Levine's got three assists in the game and so Conley will bring the ball up for the Jazz high arcing shot that shot off now Chicago takes it the other way they're coming off that win against Philadelphia and bottom line they found ways to score credit the game plan going in it was right on the money and that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. 59 seconds left in the second quarter. Kicks it out to Beasley. Six to shoot. Outside, marking it. The three-pointer, no good. The Bulls have gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Levine dishes to Williams. Outside, Levine. To the middle, Beasley with the steal. 29 seconds left in the first half. Goes up the baseline, and too long on the shot. Chicago's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Craig, they're in a rhythm offensively, really cooking. And the opposition looks helpless to stop them right now. Here's Clarkson. And Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Williams passes to Dosun. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. It's all tied in Chicago. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. Hey everybody, halftime is upon us, and a battle is also upon us. Not Kenny and Shaq this time, thankfully, but two outstanding players through the first half. And according to my records, you guys went head-to-head -head in 12 games. I averaged 24 points, Kenny averaged 9, I wouldn't call that hit hit. Well, I was hurt like 7 of those games, but uh, who... Uh... <laughs> Had your, had your feelings hurt in seven of those <laughs> no, games? No, I was actually hurt. I played like a couple minutes and then I got hurt. But who swept in the playoffs there? Yeah, that's true. I give credit where credit is due. But Houston overcame the point guard deficit. Hey, Sam Cassell, call me. <laughs> and let's review how things are going for the Jazz. They find themselves in a tight one here at the half. Great job minimizing turnovers, making the simple pass. Not trying to do too much. Yeah, the inclination is to press too hard sometimes. They certainly letting the game come to them. And 
And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Nice game. Great performance by Nikola Vucevic. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but, boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. So on the four for Utah. Up front, it's Vanderbilt at the four and Kessler at the five. Colin Sexton is out there with Connor. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three spot. DeRozan finds Vucevic. Well, Nikola Vucevic is a capable back-to-the-basket scorer. And he plays with tremendous confidence, guys. The Bulls have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. That one is off. Nikola Vucevic taking two shots. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Yeah, that's a big miss right there. Now only a one-point lead. Bounce pass, Conley. Sexton for three. A shot that time, not on target. Into the Bulls, uh, you know, shooting 61% from the field. Showing some marvelous touch out there. Levine feeling it out a bit. To the paint, out to DeRozan. Let's the three fly, sinks the triple. DeRozan's got the lead up to four now for the Bulls. Well, he's such a smart offensive player. DeMar DeRozan knows the best option there is the quick release on the catch and shoot. Conley against Ball. Conley dishes to Bogdanovich. They set the screen. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. There's a lot to like about Bogdanovich's game. He's a skilled scorer. He's a capable defender. And I think there's some leadership qualities there. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Patrick Williams. And it's Alex Caruso in for ball. Here's the break. Here's Sexton. Count that one. Sexton's got it all tied up now for the Jams. Anytime you get points in transition, you are thrilled. You can see the speed of Sexton on display. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Drummond sets the screen for Levine. And Levine throws it down. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Was the defense no fighting through the pick no rotation my goodness Horton Tucker the pass to Sexton and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line Andre Drummond picks one up well you love the fearless nature of Colin Sexton forces the issue gets himself to the free throw line he hits one and misses one each at the line Outside DeRozan. Back to Levine. And DeRozan kicks to Drummond. Drummond with a screen on Sexton. And that one's good. Drummond. Drummond's got his second bucket of the night. Wow, what a start. Three for three. Terrific play calling. Everything clicking out of the gates here. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Sexton finds Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt with the screen. Horton Tucker's shot is off. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Right side, Sexton. Nice ball movement by Utah. Horton Tucker, the pass to Sexton. Another miss by Utah. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. Green dishes to Drummond. 
shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's what we call embracing the physicality of the game. Andre Drummond never afraid of taking contact. No good on the free throw. So timeout called here, the first for Chicago. For viewers, timeouts are a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Clarkson kicks to Bogdanovich. Clarkson in a screen on Levine. And the shot is good. The Chicago lead has been cut to just one in the basket for Markinen. Well, this is where Markinen's feel for the game. You can put him in pick and roll. He is going to find a way to score it. 130 left to play in the third. And Markinen can give you great, a solid defensive effort at both the three and the four. And Kevin, many thought Markinen was a defensive liability. But given credit, worked hard to prove he wasn't. And while not a superb defender, he has become a plus defender for this team. That one drops. She ties it up. What I'm always impressed by, guys, is Markinen's versatility. The guy can face up and make jump shots. He can be enough of a presence on the interior that you're very comfortable with him in this modern NBA game. The Bulls making a switch here. Bulls checked in. Bulls have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Caruso kicks to Drummond. Pass to Green. DeRozan in the corner. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. DeRozan's got six in the quarter. Well, this goes to a philosophy shift from DeMar DeRozan. He has finally said, okay, I need to make the three a more significant piece of what I do. The Jazz again can't hit it. The Bulls leading by three. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got five. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. And that's the kind of bucket they needed. Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. Well, the one thing about Clarkson, a little bit inconsistent from deep, so that's a welcome sight for his team. Chicago's gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. On the wing, Green is covered by Bogdanovich. And Drummond kicks to Green. Caruso against Beasley. And now Utah, fast break. Clarkson outside. The three won't fall. And I love how ball will stay in your face defensively, not willing to give ground. And I like the fact that he competes on that end. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. It's Chicago leading by just two. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. Now it's Caruso out there with Lonzo Ball. And it's DeRozan in at the small fold. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Off the inbound pass. Rebounded by the Jazz. Outside, marking it. Crosses over. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on DeRozan. I'll tell you, good physical play from Markinen that right there puts the defense in a bad position and gets the whistle. And Markinen drops them both. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Levine up top, defended by Sexton. Here's Beasley. The teardrop falls in. Beasley's got his first basket of the night. 
And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Utah Jazz. All game long, they've had active hands and, and really out in the passing lanes. And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steel. I think it's also important we have to acknowledge how many scoring opportunities they've created from their spectacular defense, getting a bunch of points off turnovers. That's to Vanderbilt. Kicks it to Conley. He dishes it to Sexton. This one for three. That's in there. Conley with the assist. And the Jazz lead by three. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Levine for three. On the wing, Levine launches it. Lets it go from deep. Doesn't go that time. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Pass to Sexton. Back to Beasley. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Of course, you know, I'm looking at these numbers for Malik Beasley. He never turns the ball over. You're right, Kev. This is normally one of the players always amongst the best in terms of turnover percentage. And you love that about Malik. Why? Because he can score the basketball without making mistakes. The offensive game is based on efficiency. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Shooting for you, Kev. The first one fall. They're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Vanderbilt hits from both. Bulls trail by five. Here's Levine. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Is on Colin Sexton. Zach Levine wants to score it. And if you play with contact, he has no problem embracing that. Free throw good, Levine. And so Levine nails both of them. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Clarkson kicks to Sexton. That shot is off. Nice D from Levine. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the Bulls. They trail by three. Williams passes to Vucevic. And Vucevic throws it down. Tonight, you see why Vucevic was an all-star. Gifted score. Can carry an offense. This guy's got the whole package offensively. Now Conley. There's the dish to Clarkson. Vanderbilt with the screen. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. And that one falls for Vanderbilt. Jared Vanderbilt. He hits both from the strike. And the Bulls call timeout here. You know, couldn't agree more with this timeout. There are far too many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm. You're just trying to mix things up here. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Thank you, David. With the step back. Clarkson kicks to Conley. The jump hook, and it's good for two. And the Jazz lead by five. Boy, not nearly tough enough inside on the defensive end. They made that all too easy for him. DeRozan in the corner. Vucevic set the pick for Levine. Feeds it to Vucevic. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got five assists tonight. Wow, Vucevic with the big-time delivery. The Montenegro says, that's my shot. The Jazz making a switch here. Bogdanovich has checked in. Levine against Sexton. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. All eyes are on Conley, a normally confident shooter. Can he 
sink the free throw. He knew what was riding on those foul shots and didn't mess around, making this a two-possession game. And it's DeRozan missing. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Lock at six. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul so far. On a situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. Well, Colin Sexton has all the physical tools to be special in the NBA. He's got to sharpen his point guard skills. But if he works at this game, he's going to have a tremendous career. Absolutely no fear in this young fella. When the game is close, you want the ball in Ball's hands. Sexton for three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Outside Williams, DeRozan in the corner. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Here's the floater. Here's Vanderbilt. Yes! That's what he gives you. A big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. Williams dishes to Vucevic. Outside, Levine. It's up a three. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Well, just knocking them down from the charity stripe, extending the lead. Simple basketball. Williams finds Vucevic. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Levine for three. Again, Levine missing. Now here is Conley. And so it's Utah with the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Colin. Congratulations. How did you get that win tonight? The entire team effort tonight, I felt like... We got out here and we just knew what we had to do. We knew they was going to back to back, so we knew we had to push the ball, make sure that we share the ball tonight and make them run around a little bit just because they was going to back to back. Well, you look like the fresher bunch for sure down the stretch, man. Congrats again. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder. This is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Jared Vanderbilt.